Hello guys, welcome back to the another video of IDMPL learning. Okay, we will create a master, we will create a master branch development environment for the IDMPL. Okay, we will use this git link of IDMPL to clone a master branch. Okay, we need we need let uh, we need Eclipse with this version. Okay, we need Postgres SQL with uh, version of 12.7 okay we also need maven to be installed in the system 3.3.9 okay and uh, maven home should be set as this location and java home should be set as uh, this location you can set this location by command and uh, other way okay you can find useful uh, video online okay to set maven home and maven java first step is to open eclipse okay i have already opened eclipse in my system okay fifth step is to open git in the eclipse and set stop auto building okay we need to stop auto building in the eclipse okay let me just open git okay git repositories and uh, we need to stop this auto building okay and uh, sixth step is a clone repository let me clone repository okay copy link clone repository okay we don't have to give any username password here just next it will show all the all the branch of the item here okay we will create a development environment for master branch okay let us master branch next here you have to select directly okay initial branch will be master branch okay it will take few minutes to complete this cloning okay so let's wait until then so guys our master branch is uh, is cloned now here you can see item here okay these are the all the plugins from the master branch okay now let's go to next step okay go to workspace repo okay do maven validate okay now we need to validate maven validate okay let me open terminal and maven validate it will take few minutes to complete scanning process okay to complete validate maven validate so let's wait until then here you can see our man validate successfully build okay now we have to perform man verify okay let's perform man verify enter okay it will take some time to perform man validate uh, verify okay so let wait let's wait for that now guys maven verify has been done successfully okay this maven validate and maven verify will hardly take 7 to 10 minutes for uh, 7 to 10 minutes okay with high speed network okay let's move to the next next step let's move to the next step so our next step is import project my my existing project okay let's import my existing project file import my existing project okay here we need to select repository okay? I will put repository here directly okay and finish 
okay it's importing all the plugins in the eclipse okay let's check next step next step is import project in the workspace okay now we need to import so our all the plugins maven plugins has been imported successfully let's import simple project okay we we just need to import this five plugins okay finish now you can see our all pro project has been all plugins has been imported successfully okay let's move to the next step which is target platform set and load target platform okay okay target platform open target platform okay set as a active target platform okay it will take some time okay and reload okay okay this step has been done now select all and refresh Okay. Next step is right click on the project, select all one project, select all and update offline. Okay. Right click, right click on the project. Okay. Maven update project. Okay. Select all update offline and ok ok update done ok i have already one uh, core db let's start the server with this core db ok install dot app it takes some time to open Let's connect db localhost db name for 10 okay item pair item pair ingress okay web port 8080 ssl 8443 okay let let's test it okay In correct port, let, let's change the port triple nine seven test. Okay, eight four four seven test. Okay, all good now. Save. Okay, let's start the server okay server dot product it will take some time to start okay here you can see it launching okay
if you want to create a db then you can use its uh, idempier seeds uh, db okay you have to migrate the db with the uh, migration script okay you need to run migration script from the let's check 9 folder uh, i9 here i am using postgres so i need to run all this screen okay and then id 10 okay this all all script we need to run on the db okay to migrate it to make compatible with item pa 10 okay and uh, let's check the position of seeds db okay document core item pair seeds okay here you can see item pair underscore pg dot jar okay this db you can use you just need to extract here and uh, you can see item pair underscore pg dot dump file you can use this dump file to import in the postgres okay let's check okay server started or not here you can see our server started successfully let's test in the browser okay my address is a local host and uh, here we have to pass ssl ports okay 8447 and here you can see our server is started let's accept the risk and continue okay this is the login page okay let's login in the system username should be super user and password is system by default okay and login here you can see our server is started now okay so hope you like the video and uh, please subscribe the channel if you have any question about the internet uh, installation development installation of any development environment then you can ask me you can write the comment below the video okay okay then thank you